Hi, I'm Luis. Um, I was born in Tijuana, Mexico. Uh, my family came across to San Diego when I was uh, about six months old. I didn't really have a, a close relationship with my parents because uh, I was afraid of them. You know, my dad was physically and verbally abusive. So, I, you know, over time I just became, you know, rebellious. And I remember sitting at church one day and just looking at the at the paintings and the glass and just seeing all the, all the violence in the images. And I remember I told God, I don't want you in my life anymore. So in 2007, I was in the worst shape of my life. I was overweight, working long hours, not taking care of myself. I was just alone. I was, I mean, I was surrounded by people who loved me, but I wasn't, I was alone. I just uh, was in a dark place and self-medicating with alcohol. My drinking had progressed to levels to where I no longer would go to any social events really because I didn't trust myself. My sister-in-law's wedding was coming up uh, November 2014 and for a whole year I'd been telling the family like, I'm not gonna drink at her, at her, at her wedding, but I, I couldn't handle it and um, I, at 2.45, I walked right up to the bar and I asked for the first glass of wine. And um, the last thing I remember is the father-daughter dance at 6.30 p.m. The next day when I woke up, I saw my son playing with his toys and I remember saying, uh, Buenos dias, mijo, como estas? And he just looked at me and he just shrugged and he just shunned me. He'd never done that. And I looked at his mom who, was, who had slept in his bedroom. And I asked, what's, what's up with him? And she said, don't you remember? She said, you scared him last night. She said, he didn't recognize the man that was in the car with him. And in that moment, it was like flashbacks remembering myself when I was a four-year-old boy and my dad would dr drive you know, under the influence. And it was so scary. And in that moment, I realized I just scared my son the way my dad scared me. And for the first time, I realized that I was a drunken father in my son's life. And that's when I hit bottom. I went right to my, our bedroom, I got on my knees, and I just called out to God, the same God that I had ran away from for 30 years. I just said, God, help me. I said, help me get to a 12-step meeting, help me get to a recovery meeting. And um, three days later, I showed up to my first meeting. And I reached out to a friend that I met in recovery, and she connected me with a pastor. And I called him and he, and I told, he listened, he, I just told him everything that was going on that had happened up to that moment. And, um, and he asked me the two most important questions in my life. He asked me, um, have you ever invite, invited Jesus into your heart? And then I just told him of all my good works that I've been doing in recovery. And he said, you still haven't answered my question. And I realized, I was just in frustration, I was like, I don't know what you're asking me. And he said, do you want to invite Jesus into your heart today? And I was just at the end of myself and I just said, yes. And he asked me to close my eyes and he prayed over me. And then when I opened them, he said, what do you feel? And I just said, I feel light. I felt like all that heavy burden, all that worry and all that stress was just taken away from me. I'm so grateful because today I get to do things different than they were from when I was growing up. Uh, I look towards the Word of God, you know. Uh, I seek counseling from other men and, and women that God has brought into my life. God is real and His love is the most powerful force in the world. It heals, it renews us and it restores us. If you've dug yourself into a hole that you can't get out of, reach out to Christ. Jesus is here to, to help us no matter what we're going through. If we go through it with Him, Him leading us, and we hold, him, hold on to His hand, the promise is we can get through anything. And that's what's happened in my life for my family.